In this video, I will be showing you how to download your working files by going to the Infinite Skills website. Please note, there's no video for Lecture 1, just the instructions on how to get the working files. We strongly recommend that you use Google Chrome for watching all your training videos on Udemy. For Mac users, all you need to do is download the zip file and it will save into your downloads folder. You can access the files directly as they will be unzipped automatically. For Windows users, once you've logged into Udemy and into your course curriculum, you should see this page. In the Getting Started section, the first lecture will be about the working files. Click on this lecture and it will bring you to the Lecture 1 page. The Working Files Lecture page will have a link to this video and a link that will take you to the Infinite Skills website to download the working files. Click on this link and another browser window will open and prompt you to enter your email address. Once you've entered your email address, click the Submit button. You will receive a confirmation that an email with further instructions will be sent to your email address. Now go to your email inbox and you'll see an email from support about the Working Files Access Key. When you open this email, you'll see a link here and the access key down here. Select the access key by double clicking the left mouse button on the key and right click and select copy. Now click the link mentioned above to go back to the Infinite Skills website. Paste your key into the access key field by clicking on the right mouse button and selecting paste. Then click the Generate Download Link button. Read the important notes before downloading the files first. To download, just click the Working File link and the browser will start downloading the files as indicated here in the bottom left hand corner of the browser. Once it has completed downloading, you can click the downloaded file in the bottom left hand corner of the browser and it will open up in Windows Explorer. If you're having trouble locating the file you have just downloaded, you can go into the browser menu at the top right here and click to open it. From there you'll see a downloads option. When you select it, the browser will show you the file that was downloaded and you can click on the show in folder link to open the folder in Windows Explorer. As you may notice, the working files are in a zip file, meaning that they're all compressed together in one file but Windows has a built-in unzip utility, so unzipping the file is as easy as just copying the files over to your desktop. If you're using a third-party unzip application, we will cover that shortly. So let's close this window, and we'll minimize the browser so we can see the desktop. From there, we move the mouse pointer over to the folder with the working files, and press the left mouse button down and hold it. Now drag it onto your desktop and release the mouse button. And as you can see, the files are now being copied to your desktop. You may copy these files to any location on your computer. We're just using the desktop location as a suggestion so that you can access these files quickly and easily. So that's it. It's that easy. Now, if you're using a third-party unzip application like WinZip or WinRAR, we strongly recommend that you use 7-Zip to unzip the working files, as using WinZip or WinRAR may result in errors. To get the 7-Zip application, go back to your web browser and go to www.7-zip.org. As you can see here, we have the page up, and you can see the address here at the top. Once you're at the home page, you can download and install the application. Once you've installed 7-Zip, you can open it by going to the Start button, All Programs, into the 7-Zip folder, and click on the 7-Zip File Manager. The console will open up, and you'll most likely see all the drives in your computer. Now we'll have to go to the directory where the working file zip file is located, and if you've forgotten where you've saved it, we can go back to the browser and in the browser menu, click on Downloads and click on the Show in Folder link. At the top of the Explorer window, we can copy the location of the folder by clicking the space here in the address bar. 
you'll see that the location will be highlighted. Now move your mouse over the file name and right click and select Copy. Now go back to the 7-Zip console, click in the address bar at the top here and paste the location of the file and press Enter. Now we can see the zip file in the console. Double click the zip file to see the contents and here we can see that it's a folder. From there we can now drag and drop this folder with the working files onto the desktop or anywhere else we would like to put the working files for you to access them. So we'll minimize the browser window, drag and drop this to the desktop. And there you go. The working files are on the desktop, ready to be used. Thanks for watching this video, and enjoy your training!